Well, the Socceroos couldn't quite get the job done in Brazil. There's another cup up for grabs. The men's lacrosse world championships will be held in Denver next month. And South Australians dominate the squad. Ever the bridesmaids, our Aussie men's team has been runners-up on four occasions and third another seven times. But they're ready to break their duck. I think the last time we played in a, uh, a, sil a silver medal was 94. So it's been a long time since we've played in the gold medal games. Will Pickett's mum achieving what has so far eluded the men. In uh, 1982, which is the first ever women's worlds, I think, and then 1986 where they actually won it. And there'd be no one prouder if son Will could rewrite the history books. It would just be amazing. Certainly in 86 we had only beaten America a couple of times ever before. Uh, it was in America, so this is the same scenario. After winning the national title, South Australia has 11 players in the Australian squad to go to the World Championships, nine coming from Glenelg and Brighton. When I was growing up and you hear of Australian teams, there's always maybe one or two guys, so um, yeah, it's, it's massive. It's awesome for, for South Australia. Anson's father, a former Australian star, is adamant the current crop can go all the way. I think all of our kids are, are much better players. I think they're better skilled now than we were when we played. 38 countries will be vying for the title from July 10, hoping to achieve what our national soccer team couldn't. Yeah, I got up and watched it the other night and watched Tim Cahill score that legendary goal. And I Actually, yeah, that's got me even more excited about it. So, can we win it? Of course we can, no doubt about it. We're Australian, you know that, Kim. One, two, three, five! Kim Dillon, nine years. And all the best to the team.